Hey guys, new video here. It's been a while. Um, today, I thought I'd make a video. I was reading the red a lot. There's a lot of people like, you know, unhappy with the nerves, talking about the nerves and stuff like that. Um, so I, I don't want to make this video to make like a statement or anything like that. This is just like a fun video. Uh, I thought I'd look back on um, some of the builds that I've really, really enjoyed in the past um, that have been, of course, uh, nerfed now that don't really exist in the game uh, anymore in, in any capacity. And uh, I thought I would um, think about like, oh man, like, wow, is that so fun? And we can take a look at it together. And maybe there's some new viewers uh, or some new uh, PoE players that don't even know that these kinds of things um, existed or the game used to be this way because if you're coming to PoE this league, it's going to be pretty crazy, right? Like things are a little bit slower. Well, a lot slower. And then, um, you know, maybe uh, the monsters are harder. They actually like, fight back. You know, you might be eating some deaths here and there. You got to be paying more attention. That's for sure. Um, so let's just go on back. Uh, these are in no particular order. They're not chronological or something. They're just like things that I look at. I'm like, oh, man, I remember I really remember playing that build a lot and really enjoying it. So let's just get started. Uh, hopefully sound is off for all of these videos here. Um, so this is uh, Whale Spark. Now, this is 2.5. Wow, this is a long, long time. Ago. I think this is like a couple weeks before the AOE nerfs and stuff like that. So um, you can see that this is like shield charging around. It's using the uh, the the whale spark, the the corrupted version of it, and you can use it like unlimited times, right? Because you're just regenerating uh, things with chill of corruption and the uh, what was the other thing besides chill of corruption? Uh, sacrificial harvest, I think it's called. Now those gems, those two gems, um, they still exist in in some state, but like no one really uses them, right? It is if you look on Pee Wee Ninja, uh, there's gonna be no one using them. So those those two corrupted gems used to be like really really nice to corrupt your, uh, I believe it's Viridian jewels and stuff. Um, but now you know. Um, you don't see anybody using those jewels, which is uh, kind of a shame. I think there is a little bit of use of the uh, the whale sentencing jewel nowadays, um, but unfortunately, like this build is completely gone. Okay, um, had a little bit of resurgence uh, last league with that one ring, but that ring was uh, a bug, I guess. So like that's been uh, nerfed as well. Um, now, as you can see, most of the time you'd be using a bright beat because there was this thing where like the attack speed modifier local was just making your shield charge super super fast. So with the massive ES numbers. This is when ES even looked a little bit different. The massive ES numbers, the defensiveness of a shield, you'd just be charging around. You'd always have like, you know, your uh, your fortify and stuff up. And this would just cover the entire screen. You can see a younger version of me here. Um, so this has full screen coverage. Um, the spark projectiles actually go pretty fast. Uh, you you pretty much have some some really really, really nice uh, boss damage because you still have that effect where like the sparks will just like um, they'll just bounce around and, and hit and hit and shotgun the boss pretty much right. You can see how fast I traverse the map. You can see that the uh, I think this is is this breach league? I don't even know, but it looks pretty cool, right? You have it's a projectile based build. You spam it a lot. You're a spell caster. You feel pretty cool. Look at my cool MTX there, uh, and it was uh, a lot of fun. You know, this is like Gloom Herald, I believe at this time. Uh, this is oh man, this is so long ago. At this time. I believe that Gloom Herald, those ice spikes you're seeing, was the only Herald that you could purchase from the shop. There wasn't like that many uh, Herald MTX, but like the success of that MTX uh, kind of kind of blew up. And I think that a lot of the MTX decisions made today are based around the success of that one Herald, right? Because because Heralds are, are also my favorite, um, my favorite MTX as well. So you can see there, pretty sick, right? Really really fun. Uh, this is the Strand Mita. An interesting about uh, interesting about this build is that. Uh, the pack size was actually uh, nerfed as well since then. So not just the build, but the the pack size. So nowadays the uh, the idea is that like like worse maps like cells dungeon will have way more mobs and more densely uh, packed mobs than things like strand. Right? You go into strand, you might not even hit 400 monsters uh, if you're going into a white map strand. Um, but that was not always the case. Back in the day, you could do things where uh, you could choose a map and you could be uh, assured that the map would have a, a decent amount of monsters no matter uh, what. So that I kind of, kind of missed that as well. Oh, we can see a Katarina there. This is a Katarina mission. Uh, okay, I, I don't really miss that too much. But um, <laughs> this uh, this is uh, back when we had Forbidden Masters and I had to do the quests um, on each map. Right, Katarina is kind of, kind of tough though because some of the mobs just like killed themselves. It was pretty, pretty, pretty suck. Okay, next one. What is this? We have the power siphon water. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just just watch it. I remember this. I remember this. So what you do, you go in a map, right? You have your you have your regular uh you have your regular kinetic blast as your feeder into your uh feeding the souls from kills into your VPS. And the VPS, the whale power siphon. Oh my god. Let me tell you what it used to do, okay? So what it was, it was still hits can't be evaded. It would shoot out a bajillion projectiles at pretty much every single mob. Okay, the uh, the seeking it has been hella nerfed. Um, the seeking range you can probably see it here is ridiculous. Meaning the uh, the number of units that a uh, projectile will will track a monster that's near you. So 
nowadays i think it's like cut in half um and also like if you use things like a dying sun and stuff like that um then you get the additional projectiles right obviously and then and then each little shot gets like the the extra projectiles added and there's all kinds of things that go on with like chain and like you know you have the herald of ice going off you have unlimited uses of this really really fun build right you load up and then once that vps is ready uh you're gonna you know <laughs> I think I actually have two VPSs in this build somehow. Uh, maybe like one in a six link and then one in a four link uh, because it is just that good. Like you can see how fast I'm demolishing and how far those projectiles are seeking out mobs, right? You pretty much press one thing and then hundreds of projectiles come out of your body and uh, very, very fun. Not so good for um, true bossing, uh, but you know what? Uh, it cleared the map and dunes. Oh man, the dunes meta. That was, a, that was a really fun time. I believe... I think this is a tier 10. I think this was back when Dunes was tier 10, where you'd like farm like the tier 10s all day because that was totally fine. Right, you can see this nice little density here. Got some conversion mobs there. So sections are, are in the game at this point. I don't remember if there's like the section block here or not at this point, but um, I think this is Harbinger League, right? So you have the Harbingers there generating a lot more, uh, a lot more mobs. And um, this was a really fun league after they buffed the Harbingers uh, a little bit. So I really, really, really miss. And, and ah, man, I love this build so much. It was really fun. Uh, next, what do we have? Oh, Cosby's Auto Bomber. Okay, here we go. Oh, the old enlightened uh, or the old uh, forest hideout from Katarina. This is the dunes again. You can see like the cosplays. Now these days, cosplays are hella nerfed, right? Like Jesus Christ. Ooh, it's been it's been nerfed a little bit, okay? So auto bombers are really fun. People still try to make them every league, but it just doesn't have like the pizzazz that it used to, you know. Um uh, this was fun because like the creator of the cosplays, right, has like three uniques in the game, and they they're all actually pretty good. You know, even the cosplays will, the chest which is probably the, the worst one out of them, uh, had some use during the self curse days if you wanted to play self curse as a uh, a non-witch Aki, right? So as you can see, I'm just charging around. You notice the theme here, right? Like shield charge, mobility. People love mobility. Pretty much everyone's just jumping around. Um, that's a Gloom Herald right there. Uh, really, really hard on eyes these days. Now, now the Gloom Herald has a very interesting history because the Gloom Herald actually got nerfed. So Gloom Herald used to actually give you AoE. Uh, yeah, really unfortunate that that, that happened. But the um, so if you put on the MTX and you bought it, right, your uh, Herald of Ice AoE was actually bigger than someone who wasn't using that AoE. Like actual in-game radius was increased. And then uh, a league or two later, they actually nerfed the visuals to bring it more online. And I'm sure they found out the bug there and they um, and, and they reduced the radius right anyone who's using this uh this mtx kind of knows what i'm talking about pretty pretty funny um and that's uh and th this actually happened with uh, ethereal knives too Ethereal knives was giving a little bit too much uh i think it was giving too much projectile speed with the ethereal stars or something like that but they nerfed that uh a couple years later so it's totally fine you know uh they eventually got to it so no big deal if you weren't using the ethereal knives you were only losing distance on your ek for about two years totally fine um so yeah you can you can see how fun this is i'm just running around blowing up the screen you gotta actually hit the mob though sometimes accuracy you know you gotta make sure your accuracy is good uh so that's pretty fun we'll stop here what is this oh my god i'm sorry that you see this this weird overlay that i have here now this is a true auto bomber now this is using a light poacher crown which has been also nerfed as well so sometimes it's not just the build that's nerfed it's the items that go into the build light poacher used to have uh, automatic pierce um you know so if you like three link that thing that thing was a monster Right, a lot more damage now this shield charge is getting pretty is getting pretty wet and wild here look at this yeah you just charge around that be able to do the strand again i think this is a new strand yeah this is a new looking strand you can see those projectiles flying out so i'm not just auto bombing i'm also using ek which is a physical base so it goes really well with headhunter and you can see this kind of speed is uh, extremely fun even if i sit still that hero of the thunder that's gloom hero of the thunder by the way uh that hero of the thunder is just popping off and uh yeah you can you can imagine how fun this will be to just run around uh be protected while you are killing things and you just pick up your loot afterwards right pretty good stuff there okay what is this ah spell singer now this is interesting i brought this up because like um you couldn't really uh easily take spell slinger uh child slinger into the red maps and feel like too good about it it kind of fell off a little bit it hit a wall for a normal investment um the reason i want to bring it up as a nerf build is because like People use this a lot for uh, for leveling, right? Leveling made this like really insane. Um, you would you would have such an easy time once you um, it, it got nerfed in the way of like the mana reservations. So you used to have like a three or four link on it, but now you, you can't. And uh, nowadays even even less so, right? Because of mana multipliers and certain nerfs of the game. Um, but you would have maybe the easiest time leveling um, for most players. It was so nice. One button build, contagion, and soul rend, or essence rend would go out. And it would chain all the way around. So um, uh, one thing I, I, I am kind of iffy on is like, I don't understand why there's like builds like Orb of Storm Storm uh, 
uh, what's it called? Storm Blast Mines, which are only used for like leveling, right? Chalice Slinger used a lot for leveling in early game. Why those builds are, um, are, are singled out and nerfed when really when you think about it like people um mostly use those for just leveling and setting up their their beginning league right that doesn't make too much sense to me but um i'm sure they, they have good reasons for that so this was um not too flashy build now this is bane okay bane's been hella nerf especially with the vixens entrapment and the aoe uh changes but look at this my goodness right i think this is actually after the aoe changes maybe yeah this is way after the AoE uh nerfs as well but um you can see how how massive this aoe is like look at that and you gotta remember that i'm on an ultra wide right so on an ultra ride if the aoe is like this then you know uh on a regular screen it's gonna actually cover the whole screen top to bottom it's pretty nuts um it has the uh the synergy with the vixens entrapment now bane was never really that great of a skill for like clear speed or boss killing right because of damage over time um however they did nerf it in terms of uh its damage has been nerfed uh the sports gyms obviously and uh the aoe has been uh significantly reduced and then its synergy with the vixens entrapment and things like that has also been nerfed which didn't make much sense to me because uh, this isn't like this was never like a meta skill or anything like that, right? But just to show the the nice little mapping and the nice AOE that you used to get on that thing. Okay, the Cosby's discharge. This is when the Cosby's initial came out. We used to use evasion of agent, evasion daggers uh, to get our procs. It used to proc uh, 20 times a second if you could get it that far. Uh, nowadays, uh, when this came out, we were pretty excited because I think it was two. Uh, no, no, it was, I, I think it was 12, 100 and. 50 milliseconds so like like almost like seven eight procs per second maybe but then it's been uh right now i think it's 250 milliseconds i think it's four times a second or maybe 200 milliseconds for the cost piece proc um so so uh five, four or five times a second right um so still pretty nice but when this came out uh something else came out and that was i think it was the dying sun and with a dying sun you know all this aoe applies to radius so you can just run around and your discharge right is just hitting everything it's crazy how how good discharge is these days and it was still very competitive compared to um uh i, I guess recently but it's been nerfed once again but the uh, ice nova cast on crit um with the uh frost bolt right that thing is like has kind of taken its place because you get the projectiles and you get the ice nova's on the projectiles and things like that really really nice but this is one of the uh the all-time favorites for a lot of people uh playing this game today okay what is this the self curse oh my god this self curse may be one of the most powerful map farmers uh maybe one of the, yeah maybe the most powerful map farmer uh uh objectively the most powerful map farmer in the entire game when it existed uh it existed uh for a, a very long time maybe maybe i mean over a year definitely over a year or two probably um and what it does is it stacks up buffs and multiplies them by four times so any buff you have on you lasts four times as long you look at the flask you can see how slow the flasks are going down um because it would extend that so anything has a duration on you anything good or or bad would last four times as long and you can see how crazy the stacks get here as we are just running around the map you cannot be killed by anything um well you can if your stacks drop off you're very slow loot. slow looting would have killed you here um but yeah it's it's just nuts um and it, the i think it was balanced in the sense that it couldn't do bosses right you can't boss with this thing at all whatsoever uh you can't even kill a conqueror with this thing it's gonna be miserable you can't even run uber lab with this thing um because it was so limited but for the narrow focus it was like a shotgun blast to the maps right it was uh pretty insane and uh, i kind of miss this build you know I, i'm looking at this and how smooth it was oh you'd use a nice little like plus one plus one plus two plus one bow and then uh you do the bv right because it was physical based and um it was also duration based so it made your blade forces last four times as long so you barely had to cast the uh the blade board look at it look how big my character is it's insane uh so this is uh this is also a, a build that's uh, near and dear to our hearts but it no longer um exists unfortunately with the changes to curses uh and uh, even after a few nerfs uh we were able to get to work with things like uh aki and cosby's will but they completely removed that by not counting you as an enemy to yourself uh, so that build is also gone. Okay, what is this now? This is um this is cast on crit ethereal nas ethereal nas because you can chain it, you can get more projectile range than initially possible on just a regular ek cast, um and you can move while doing it. So it's very very efficient, very fun. You can see like my little hair of the vice popping off. Um, you can hair of the ass also really good. This is back when um you know the cast on crit it did not actually use any kind of um it didn't use any kind of uh mana uh mana usage or whatever nowadays you might have these like eldritch battery to get your cast on crit off the ground it's not gonna feel as good it's not gonna be as fast uh very very hard to um to do anywhere 
uh, anywhere near the start of a league, especially for uh, for newer players, right? But you can see how smooth this is. It's kind of you can. It's kind of like the cast on crit discharge video. Um, beautiful build with the GC in there for the uh, the single target of killing of the bosses. Now. Um, this one I want to show now, Essence Drain has been nerfed in a way that the uh, Contagion AoE has been massively nerfed. And then obviously nowadays, um, it's it's pretty um, it's pretty low damage for a build. But I want to showcase this because this is back in the day when, you know, you could still shield charge around and have very great mobility. You can see how big my, um, this is, this is a uh, leak starter, right? I think this is like day, uh, I want to say it's like day two or three or whatever. Um, but it is going pretty speedy. And you can, and most, most important to notice is the, uh, radius on the contagion right really crazy there and and i'm just zip zipping through getting to the next pack so there's really no downtime which i think makes the, the game a little bit less fun for people if there's downtime in between the packs okay now this is a uh, i'm gonna go a little bit faster because i don't want this video to be too long this is a lightning war poet's pen poet's pen is an item that uh basically what it does it just casts spells inside the wand it, it led to some pretty crazy results right like you, you use the wand attack and you start using the spells inside the poet's pens there's like different breakpoints to do um so this is like a bear joint where i'm just like running through and lightning warp is kind of clear and for me really really nice um not that fast but it's just an interesting build because it has a moose movement skill uh inside of it right and it's a really cool item now nowadays if you look at how many people are using poet's pen uh poet's pen has been completely nerfed and uh, that kind of playstyle has been kind of taken out of the game, right? Because you have, um, you can't, the, the Poet's Pen is just not worth using anymore because it's it's not within a margin of the um, the similar skills that, that clear even faster. Uh, so that is Sag. Okay, cast on Crypt Frost Nova. Now this thing is nerfed once again because we have mana changes this league uh, and like the damage reductions and it just doesn't work that well anymore. Okay, especially, uh, especially since like, you know, certain gems like Control Destruction just completely like gut your crit. So as you can see, I'm cycling around. I'm 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 throwing out frost bolts, and the interaction is that the ice gnomes can go on the frost bolts as well, as well as coming out of your chest. So it's a really, really crazy interaction with a cospreys. Now, if you look at how many people are using cospreys these days, this league, really unfortunate there that that uh, someone paid like you know two thousand uh, dollars to design a unique that is uh, now in its current state. So really sad there. But this is kind of similar to the other builds, so I'll stop that. Okay, now this right here, I remember that I remember making this video. Um, this build right here is just Stormbrand, okay? It's Stormbrand. Everybody knows Stormbrand, Hierophant. We have some mana going on here. We got some brand recall. Now, there are some cluster jewels at play here that have been absolutely nerfed. Um, it, it does not work anywhere closest. But if you saw right there, did you see that the, the, the Stormbrand zoom from where I cast them to this guy? And then now watch this. Watch this. It goes from right there to right there did did you see that this is like insane that I, I, I like forgot about this build until right now that kind of travel distance okay that you would get basically it would um it would increase brand attachment range every second i believe and so you could get like three screens if you imagine a tropical island we tested this you get like three or four screens away from the entrance um that is absolutely nutty right and um and this lets us some like really nice spin maximum where you have a lot of damage and you have that AoE clear. Because brands, you know, um, they do have good clear. They can they can proc heralds, they can proc on death uh, effects, right? Explode chests, things like that. Um, but they aren't known for being like an actual like AoE, I guess. Um, but this makes it so that it's just zooming everywhere. And you see these red lines crisscrossing the screen. It makes it really, really ridiculous. And uh, and this was one of the most fun things to build this league uh, or, or in 3.10 because of how far um, you know because of how far the uh the brands are traveling and you can't you just can't do that anymore right unfortunate there now this is a low life vrf right like uh there was a time when you could play these like these passive like dot builds and feel really good right like damage was good you could scale it properly uh nowadays it's been nerfed in terms of its scaling um and really no one that i really know plays righteous fire anymore if you look at the righteous fire numbers on poe um on the uh, POE Ninja, it's rough because, you know, it's taking some of your house. You need to regen these defenses um, and high fire res, but then you also need to kill the mob. And if you don't have high, uh, really good gear with like the high life and the high ES or whatever, um, you're just not gonna be able to kill mobs these days uh, as at a reasonable level, right? And then counter that with a lot of map mods that will completely cuck your um, your regen and things like that. It just makes it not very good anymore. But there was a time we could just run around and let the Righteous Fire do the work. Nowadays, Righteous Fire VRF is mostly just used for a uh, boost to your uh, spells. But as you can see, there's a Toxic Sewer and uh, super fun to run around with a 
basically an aura around you that can actually do damage, right? There's also a reason people don't play Death's Oath because of the nerfs and everything. Well, Death's Oath's got buff, but because of the overall nerfs, it's just not really worth playing uh, anymore, even though it's such a unique uh, build, right? You're, you're constantly lighting yourself on fire to do damage um, in a circle around you. I think that's super cool, um, but it's really not worth playing, in my opinion, uh, these days anymore. Okay. Uh, this is a very old build. This is Skull's Bridal. Uh, it used to be so that you could put a bunch, as many casts on damage tokens uh, in your links as possible, right? Look at this. I just basically what I've done here is at this point, you have to remember there was not that many MTX in the game. So basically, any skill that I had in MTX, I put in my links. That's why I chose the skills that you see here. You see a Celestial Vortex. You see a Celestial uh, Frostbolt. You see a Ice Nova Arctic. You see a um, you might even see a Siege Firestorm or something like Golden a Golden um, Blade Fall. I think that is right. Really, really crazy there. Um, and so you would even do things like go Berserker, so you can take 10% more damage taken and just keep procking a higher one higher level of your CWDT or your um, and, and level up your gems a little bit more. That's why you see on the right side, I can't level my gems or else the build doesn't work. Very, very interesting um, how this worked. It was great for mapping, really hilarious looking, really customizable. You could use all the skills that you wanted. You see a essence, uh, Rift Worm Essence, uh, sorry, Rift Worm Shocking over there. And uh, that's why I played it, right? It was really fun. Actually, okay, damage is pretty bad, actually. Um, but the way that it came together, it was a really fun build. Can't do it anymore because Scolds, and, and therefore Scolds is just not used um, as a cool item anymore. All right, this is my Blight Leak starter. Now, this is cool because uh, you could transition your like Orb of Storms, Frost Bomb, um, uh, Lightning, uh, Lightning Mines, whatever, uh, Storm, what's it called? Storm Blast Mines, into an actual Storm uh, Orb of Storms build with Chain and Chain Around and do some some crits and farm pretty easily with an Assassin uh, Orb of Storms build. And nowadays, they uh, unfortunately, because of the Orb of Storms and the, um, those things were so so widely used for uh leveling and, and with all the damage and stuff uh, this this is not really like it's not going to feel the same right with all the chains especially with when you're losing a lot of damage and stuff like that so uh unfortunately that is uh it, it's it was such a good league start such a smooth such a nice chaining league start but um can't play it anymore uh sag okay what is this the storm call now these kinds of builds these builds rely on uh the fact that you are going to have uh certain flasks that are not in the game anymore in their current state so there are uh things like you know, there are things like Soul Catcher and um, ways to permanently uh, use the whale skills, right? But um, back in the day, you could choose pretty much a Pathfinder. Um, and eventually when Brutal Restraint came out, you could choose any class and get permanent whale skill usage. Really, really nice. You can see the Storm Call going off. It strikes. Uh, I believe I got it down to 0.07. So you're looking at about 14, 14 strikes a second in an AoE. And then you use something to um, you use something to uh, shock or, or sorry, use something to um, prolift that uh that individual hit right because it doesn't have like true aoe so you're relying on things like um hero device right and then as you can see what what map is that Wait, what, what map oh that was george oh wow george map i forgot about that map really crazy this must have been a long time ago 3.4 nice um so there it is okay this is the uh big cyclone now look at this uh this is like i think this is like the self curse version but look at my ultra wide and then look at the look at the radius of this thing Look at the radius of that Cyclone. That is crazy. Imagine if Cyclone was that radius today. A lot more people would play it. Um, and uh, unfortunately, this doesn't exist anymore. But this was back in Legion when it came out. Legion had a lot of ramifications for the uh, rest of the game. Especially how rewards are doled out. Because of uh, Iceberg farming or Glacier farming and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this this cyclone build that aoe is just absolutely out of control um and uh i, I feel like it was like 40 percent of people were playing cyclone that league and uh fortunately you, you can't get anywhere near that that radius on any build anymore because of the uh big nurse right now this is a winter's orb build winter's orb has been nerfed because uh the way they nerfed it is they you have to channel it to get the full um speed of it and then also what you need to do is you need to um, you need to uh, be a little bit closer to the mob for the projectiles to even fire at the mob. If you run around here, you can see how far away the mobs are once again ultra wide uh, that the shards start um, start falling on top of it. Now, Witcher's Orb, like during the Synthesis League, was just like really, really crazy, um, really fun. It had super nice mechanics to it, really easy to build around, but also a lot of min maxing to be done. Um, unfortunately, uh, uh, playing Winter's Orb without a headhunter and some other um, gimmicks is, is is kind of a lost cause, right? Because there's so many other things that do it um, better. I mean, even like, you know, I have Winter coming out these days a little bit more instant, a little bit more snappy, a little bit more responsive because you cast it once. 
and uh, and that school's not even that good right so uh that's the winter's orb okay this is a little bit of impale cyclone um yeah and you can see the damage right there pretty nuts um it is it is just crazy because the impale cyclone right um it's balanced because you can't really map that well with it right like this 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 mapping is pretty bad actually uh but the moment that you get you know the moment that you kill a um a conqueror this fast it doesn't really matter right it, it, you had a lot of impale effect you had a lot of physical damage added you know you had all these things working to stack an impale to uh i believe seven or eight stacks something like that uh uh maybe nine nine impales or something like that and then you just instantly give a boss okay but once again you can't map with this so pretty pretty crazy there impale has been nerfed since um this is a self-poison uh bv now this isn't even like that long ago the reason that self-poison is so insane is because you would get um a, you had to roll a sex and this is very interesting because um it's one of the few builds that relies on a sex right like one of the builders you're like oh i have to roll a sex on a watchstone to even play the build and what it'll do you stack the 100 poisons on you and you get a percentage depending on the uh, type of sex that you used right um if you use elevated you know use a uh, use like a sex that that's cost like 60 c uh you might get the the big move speed right you get over a thousand move speed and it was just really really fast with the annoyance of you couldn't play maps without rolling sex and so pretty balanced in my opinion and you can see you can just see how fast i'm running after i hit a few mobs because the blade vortex hits so fast that sacks of the poison instantly right you've basically you're reflecting all the poison on you but then you're immune or you're unaffected by poison sorry you can't be immune um you'd be unaffected you know you're using some golden rule shenanigans and that just get and nowadays like you know how many people are using golden rule uh how many people are using that poison sex you know it's it's been nerfed because they introduced a unique but that unique's not very good um and only gives you like maybe like five percent of the previous uh, speeder power okay now um with with uh whale skills i'm looking at this one whale blight uh this is nuts because this is not considered blight is not really considered a good skill right um you usually don't map with it but now watch this aoe it sends out three pulses of the whale blight and you can just run around and just dot up everything right uh i remember seeing the ziggy d tweet about the whale blight and when that came out and we found that we could have infinite uh uses of that right well not maybe not infinite but like pretty much as long as you were clearing pretty fast you can see look at look at the radius and it's so cool because it's a dot that expands and stacks and you have like interactions with wither and all this stuff um interactions with spreading rot and, and things like that so really really cool build um i, I kind of miss this build because it, it wasn't really that good um it was not that good but it had huge aoe and it was so cool for um how it looked right because it had this like purple pulse and then now we have all this mtx that comes out for skills but then they get nerfed so it's kind of like waste of money but you know I, I digress let's go okay so this one um this is very interesting actually this is a uh one shot build in harvest and you needed the harvest crafts you cannot get this type of one shot reliability on any conquer or uh, awaken or an eight cyrus um without the harvest crafts i think it's just you just need a lot of uh, beautiful gear right and once you get that what you're doing is you are stacking the war cries which have been nerfed so you can't do this anymore um you are stacking the war cries and bringing them down to the last tick so that you can <laughs> you can see right there um uh you, you can see like this is balanced because you can't you cannot map with this thing right because if you look right here uh i am basically setting up the uh where am i setting it up yeah yeah, yeah. I, I proc right here i'm setting it up for like um quite a while beforehand um, because you need to get these uh, to specific uh, numbers on the cries. You got to set up like all kinds of things like uh, like even like frost blink for bone chill. Get every little more multiply you can on the guy. And then you're just going to and then you're going to one shot him. Right. Um, oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. This is where I set it up. Right. You can see right there. And this is just a beautiful build because if you want to invest a lot of money into a pure bosser, um, you have something to do when your mapper is uh, finished. So uh let's, let's just watch it again right I, let's go in and then he's gonna he's gonna proc and the uh, the one shot comes out it's like a, it's a true one shot right because one attack i think for um yeah for all that damage and this was a lot of fun to build it took a lot it took a long time to build but um you know definitely worth it right and once again can't map with it okay now this is whale fireball this is another one of my favorite builds you're running around you're spinning the spinning fireballs are going around your character and you are clearing the map really fast you might even have like ignite prolif you might have um uh at, at a certain point in the past i don't think right now but you even had double dipping on the ignites really really powerful you can see uh the craziness here as i clear a map at ultra speed with all the fireballs spinning and you're balancing like you know do i have the uh the speed and the monsters in the map to guarantee that i have 
um, all these uh, all these uses on demand. So really, really funny stuff there, right? Getting soul gain prevention down to zero was uh, something that people like really, really tried to do on, on every whale skill. And um, there were a few standouts such as uh, whale fireball here. Okay, really miss this build. Uh, a little, little bit crazy, a little, little bit crazy of a build, um, but yeah I, I oh this is synthesis holy shit that's crazy um so that has been nerfed you can't do that anymore uh this is oh why, why do i have this one this one's just like fire trap uh this fire trap is just like i'm just killing some chivies i think this is the league where they buff fire trap and so you just go in and it's got huge boss damage i guess you just, just throw the fire traps and you just like one shot the chayubi now with um certain change i mean traps are like relatively um okay i guess um but with the changes to things like um, monster health reducing of uh, damage. I don't think you can do things like that that easily anymore. And this is another showcase of Cyclone because the Cyclone is, uh, you can see the AoE. This is a Coward's Trial. If you look at the outer blue ring, it's very faint, right? You can see that outer blue ring. That's the radius of it to give a more, um, to give a more <laughs> uh, accurate show of the radius. And that is just nuts, right? Like if, if Cyclone was this way, uh, I feel like a lot more people would play it as a, as a natural build. And so with that, um, I, I guess like something I just think about a lot is uh, if if these build and this is like, you know, I play a very specific way, but there are many times more than this uh, builds that are kind of like this uh, that have been uh, nerfed over the over the years. And sometimes I, I just wonder, I wonder if all these unique items and all these types of play styles and all these builds, uh, if they were if they were all available today. Uh, if anybody could go on YouTube and find these builds and none of them were nerfed, um, I, I, I wonder what the build of diversity would be like today. Because it wouldn't just be like, okay, okay, what's like the next best within a certain margin that I can get to maps with? Because like, I'm only going to pick a leveling build for the league start, unless it, that's not complete trash, right? I'm going to try to because most of the new skills are like not that good. Um, if you knew what the end goal was, if you knew you had... Um, 10 builds that you could possibly farm, you know, weeks, months for. Um, I didn't include the Aura Stacker in here uh, because for, you know, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, if all those builds were in the game today, uh, would you be more excited to play the game, right? Like, in, instead of being like, okay, okay, I want to make the Aura Stacker. That's a really solid build. Or I want to make like a, uh, I guess I'll make a Forbidden Right Totem Hierophant Foster or something. Um, imagine you could pick 30 builds that were incredible and your only struggle would be which one of those builds am i going to play next uh which one of those builds do i want to farm next because i'm gonna get some crazy performance I'm, I'm ready to spend my my exalts my mirrors on that thing and uh honestly i i think i think the, the game would be in a better spot if if it wasn't um if everything wasn't mm, so nerfed right that's just my opinion and uh yeah it's uh you know i hope you guys are enjoying expedition league and uh, Royale as well. All right. All right. Thanks for watching my video. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.